Pass ball. Got him. So Pennington is caught looking. Ten athletes who destroyed their equipment. Raging. We all do it, but we have different reasons for it, and athletes have been occasionally seen taking their rage out during the game. Welcome back to our channel, and for today's video, we will talk about 10 athletes who destroyed their equipment. But before we hop into the details, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family. Serena Williams Athletes may be physically gifted, but they also get irrationally angry like the rest of us. They have often been seen misdirecting their anger onto their equipment. We've all had that moment in life where something started a runaway chain reaction of hot, fissile rage in our mind. Anger so acute and total that the very universe itself could be destroyed unless it is properly disposed of. And the only proper method of disposal is to smash something. So is the case when Serena Williams was up a set and a break in her Australian Open quarterfinal against 19-year-old American Sloane Stephens. Then, in a span of 25 minutes, she lost her serve, hurt her back while trying to avoid contact with the net, took her second injury timeout of the tournament, came away with a limp, could barely get her first serve over 90 miles an hour, dropped her first set since the US Open, and went down 2-1 in the decider. Her Wilson tennis racket paid the price. The 15-time Grand Slam singles champion took a step toward her bench for the first changeover of the third set, paused, and delivered two mighty whacks to the blue court in Melbourne, effectively destroying the innocent racket. She then chucked it at her tennis bag for good measure. Serena said nothing during the outburst and steadied herself to win the next game. During that hold of serve, she was called for a foot fault. The linesman was unidentified at the time of this writing, but he shall forever be referred to as the bravest linesman in the history of tennis. Stevens went on to win the match 3-6-7-5-6-4. She became the first American player younger than Serena to beat her. It will be the first Grand Slam semifinal appearance for the Florida native. Serena entered the match with one loss since May. After the match, she was asked about the incident. She answered with a smile, it made me happy, unfortunately. Cliff Pennington Cliff Pennington appeared to be going for the world record in unintentionally broken bats when he cracked, split, then shattered three bats in three consecutive pitches. We can only assume this batch of Louisville sluggers was outsourced to a Myanmar or imported from Detroit. Oakland Athletics' Cliff Pennington held on to the broken bat as he followed a foul ball against the Los Angeles Angels in the second inning of their Major League Baseball game at McAfee Coliseum in Oakland, California on Wednesday, September 17, 2008. Kyle Busch NASCAR is a sport designed around athletes breaking their equipment. At the Texas Motor Speedway in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, there was an awful display of sportsmanship by Kyle Busch through events that could have led to a serious injury or death, all because the driver lost his cool. It was absolutely sick to see someone run another driver into the wall after such a meaningless bump that couldn't have been avoided. Kyle Busch intentionally plowed Ron Hornaday into a wall at 130 miles per hour. The driver in question, Kyle Busch, has been known for his reckless driving and loss of temper at times, but this has to do with someone's life. NASCAR fined Kyle Busch $50,000 and placed him on probation through the rest of the year for his retaliatory actions during Friday night's Truck Series race at Texas Motor Speedway. And Kyle on, Busch Bobby, is going to turn on Bobby, on Bobby, on the wall! Our championship contender hoarded it! Marcos Bagdadis Bagdadis went out of the Australian Open in a late-night match Wednesday, but he was still the talk of Melbourne Park a day later. Down two sets and a break, Bagdadis sat in his chair at the changeover and whacked his racket on the court seven times until it was almost unrecognizable. That wasn't so unusual. What happened next was... Bagdadis calmly gave the mangled racket to a ball boy, plucked a new one out of his bag, and cracked that as well. The next two, he didn't even bother taking out of plastic wrapping before smashing them into the court. In all, the fiery Cypriot broke four rackets during a meltdown that lasted less than a minute and earned him a $1,250 fine, or just over $300 per racket. Yeah. 
Andrew Strauss Former England skipper Andrew Strauss always sported a smile on the field. But on this occasion, his teammates shared a good laugh along with their captain. As Hashim Amla and Jacques Callis was piling the runs at the Oval in 2012, the English players were grim. Callis worked one off Graham Swan to mid-wicket and called Amla for a quick single. Strauss came around, picked up the ball, and threw it in a flash. But, as luck would have it, his shades had come off his hat, and as Strauss threw it, the ball hit them mid-air and shattered them. Roger Clemens The 2000 World Series became a little more heated after Yankees great Roger Clemens infamously tossed a bat toward Mike Piazza. It all happened so quickly. One pitch and a swing later, the sharp shard of a broken bat flew toward the pitcher's mound. Then, with a flick of the wrist, New York Yankees pitcher Roger Clemens threw that piece of bat in front of New York Mets catcher Mike Piazza, who was running to first base. Territory near Piazza. Obviously, Piazza didn't mean to do that. David Nalbandian David Nalbandian was disqualified from the Asian Championships final after injuring a line judge by kicking an advertising board into his shin. Oh, it's all over. Yeah. We've got a champion here. The Argentine, 30, was leading Marin Silic 7-6-7-3-3-4, when he smashed a panel in front of Andrew McDougall's seat, causing his leg to bleed heavily. David Nalbandian's kicking of an advertising board during the Queen's Club final cost him $12,560 in fines and $57,350 in prize money. Bryce Harper Bryce Harper's temper is far from a big secret in professional baseball. The Washington National star slugger can swing the bat with the best of them, but when he finds himself unable to connect, well, he's got to hit something. After striking out, all it took was a solid one-arm swing on the home plate for Harper to shatter this bat at the weak spot. And Lobatone setting up inside the barrel of the bat. And judging by the way he stopped to pick up his mess, he was not exactly expecting to break it. Bryce Harper sent the ball flying hundreds of feet in a broken bat home run as the Washington Nationals faced the New York Mets. The lumber split just above his hands, and the barrel helicoptered into the high, protective netting behind home plate on the first base side. It's the emotion of the game. That is it. That is about it, he said of the bat flip. He added, I was pretty fired up. I was excited. I was trying to get back to my teammates as quick as possible and do all my handshakes. Charles Barkley Although Barkley's swing has been called everything from a national treasure to famously awkward, it was a rare moment when he broke off the head of his club on a tee shot. David Ortiz Elite athletes are true competitors. What makes them different is a combination of physical talent and an ability to channel their emotions to gain an advantage over their opponent. And this is what plays sports so entertaining. We feed off the performance of athletes, and the athletes feed off the energy and enthusiasm of the fans. So, when competitive desire transforms into resentment and anger, the result almost always has an audience. Over the years, there have been some spectacular moments when an athlete's anger boiled over, and their results were just as entertaining. David Ortiz lost his cool lawn and destroyed a dugout phone with the baseball bat. The incident came after Ortiz struck out, and Ortiz disagreed with one of the strikes. Ortiz could be seen yelling at the umpires on the way back to the dugout, but wasn't ejected until he destroyed the phone. The best part of the scene was the reaction of Ortiz's teammates, who were genuinely afraid. But the best reaction was by the official Twitter account of the Tampa Bay Rays, which joked about needing a stronger phone before their next home game against the Red Sox. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos.